I just want to say that um, I find it very disrespectful to hack in a man or woman's account and then try to date them or approach them. Okay, like if you hack into somebody's bank account, if you hack into somebody's platform, if you hack into somebody's phone, like any type of hacking work, like hacking is psycho. It's one thing to like stalk somebody and follow somebody around. I mean, that's psycho in general. You understand what I'm saying? But like hacking somebody so you can date them is a little weird. I just, I just, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Like, I'm the high priestess and I know a lot of things. A lot of shit I've been holding for a long time and I don't even speak about it. But like, I just don't understand this shit. Like, cause it's not just happening to me. It's happening to several people. I don't, I, I really can't, you know how you don't understand divine masculine, divine feminine karmics. And you can't figure out why you can't defeat them. We kind of feel the same way. We're, we're, well, at least I do. Like, is the shit is disrespectful. Let's put it like that. Like, what I'm trying to say is, is like, for example, as a man or a woman, you're interested in dating somebody or you're intimidated by somebody. Or just let's just take the intimidation out of it. You're interested in dating somebody. You have a crush on somebody. You like somebody. So you hack into their phone. So you can know what they like to do. So you can know what they watch. You can know what they into. You can know what they like to shop at. You can you so you can know what they like to buy. So when you come in and approach them, you're you're a fucking fake. You're an actor. How can somebody take somebody like that serious, male or female? You're a fucking actor. Like, really think about that shit. Oh, well, I like Divine Masculine, so I'm a hack into his phone. I like Divine Feminine, so I'm a hack into her phone. Divine Masculine's like this. Divine Masculine like this. They watch this. They watch that. I'm literally having to get quiet because this is fucking... The energy makes me want to throw up. Like, I've been feeling, every time I think about this shit, because, like, I have not just got this download. I've been feeling like this for a long time because it's being done to me. And I know I'm not the only one that this is being done to. Whatever happens to getting to know somebody, you don't know what people go through. You understand what I'm saying? So you motherfuckers are actors and actresses. Oh, well, since I hacked into Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine's phone, I know everything about them. <laughs> they don't know that I know. I know everything about them, and they don't even know who I am. They don't know it's me. I know everything about them. So when I go in for the kill, I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring flowers, or I'm gonna bring their favorite drink. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna. Pr you're a fucking actor, bro. You're an actor or actress. You're literally like changing yourself to fit somebody's standards because you hacked into their phone. You will never get to really know somebody based off their watch history, their IP address. Like, bro, you're fucking disgusting. And I, all of you, bro, die. That's just, it's, it's fucking disgusting to me, bro. And I'm going to keep saying this, like, all of the secrets are on Gematria calculator. So if you wonder what wondering how I know who each and every last one of you motherfucking people that didn't did shit to me, I know these things because God tell me, number one, because I'm a high priestess and a psychic medium. And number two, you just go type type it in on Gematria. I'll type I can type your whole name in and get the answers to what you're doing. I can type the city and the state that you live in and get all the answers. And, and it's going to connect the dots for me. And see, Gematria is not spiritually spying. You can't manipulate a Gematria calculator. Rest in peace, Tony Thompson. I'm picking up on his energy. Today was his birthday. Happy heavenly birthday, Tony.
Damn, I'm almost having a psychic medium read. If you don't know who Tony Thompson is, he was in the group High Five. He's telling me that he's in heaven and he's doing fine. He's telling me to tell his mom that and his parents, if they're still living, or his mom, or he could be on the other side with one of his parents. I'm hearing he could have had a sister. He said he misses his family a lot. He misses his son. He could have a son or a daughter. Maybe he has grandchildren. He's saying he had peace and he's happy on the other side. He said he was a blood sacrifice. He's saying something about him being set up. See, here I go. I should have never cut this damn camera on. Quality time with you. Okay, that's that's high five. He was like the lead singer. And they sung the main song that they sung that y'all probably know is um um I like the way you kiss me when you're playing the kissing game. Yeah. All summer long, we've been together, and I never felt so good. Yeah, I forgot the tune. Because when I'm with you, it's such a good time. Yes, it is. And yeah, they were originally, that group was from, um, that group was from Waco, Texas. My father actually knew uh, Tony Thompson. He used to uh, shoot up in my dad's bathroom and they would have parties and stuff. But Tony was a good soul. Uh, they used to drug him and stuff. They drugged all them boys. If if anybody in the industry watches my channel, can you please promise me something? Can y'all please make a high five movie? Find a Tony Thompson lookalike. Uh, I don't know. Or maybe he could be telling me that he wants to have a, they want to, I don't know. Maybe so, somebody going to put out a movie for high five. I don't know, but I'm definitely picking up on his energy. He's a very sweet, shy soul. He's telling me that he was robbed of his youth. He said all of us, he's saying all of us, like the group was robbed of their youth. They went through a lot of things. He's saying somebody in the industry put a curse over them, a spell over them. Okay. I'm hearing he's telling me that he didn't have any childhood trauma. He come from a good family. He was raised in the church, sung in the choir or something like that. He's telling me that he could have started singing at the age of nine and ten. He said he didn't really come from a messed up family. It's the industry that ruined him. He said he's seen a lot of things. He's seen a lot of stuff. Damn, I got the lights cut off. Believe it or not, y'all, I still get chills up my spine. Sometimes I still have to sleep with the TV on. <laughs> I ain't going to say that. Let me not say that. I was going to say something about, never mind, I ain't going to say that on camera. Damn this man in my energy. Uh, shit. Uh, whoever, bro, like, you're an actor. Male or female. Y'all are actors and actresses. You be interested. You're creepy, too, and you're disrespectful. Y'all don't know what people go through, bro. You really don't, and especially to the people that's doing it to me. You don't know who or whoever want to date me. You don't know people's life stories. And because you're so intrigued by somebody and because you want to date somebody, you're literally planning to come in based off of looking at somebody's watch history or hacking into their IP, IP address. That's, bro, like, die. Like, I don't know. I'm done with that. But, um, yeah. I like the way you kiss me when you're playing the kissing game. I like the way you keep me moving forward to another day. Hey, our summer long, oh, Tony, we've been together. He said he missed his wife or something like that. His He could have been married before he died. Or if he wasn't married, he was in a committed relationship. He's saying that she cries a lot. I don't know if she's still alive. I'm here. She grieves a lot. Oh, my God. I got chills. I got to go. Tony, I don't got no light on in here. OK, I'm hearing that uh, his he misses his other half. She's very beautiful. I don't know if they had a child. Maybe they could have. 
Yeah, I, I don't know. Or he, or he's telling me he could have had a child in a previous relationship before he was in the last relationship that he was in before he died. This woman, the last relationship he was in before he died. I don't know. She could have had something to do with his setup or I don't know, a close friend of his. I don't know, bro. Oh, my goodness. I was not expecting to picking picking up on your energy, sir. Damn. Lord, have mercy. I was not expecting this. See, y'all, I be picking up on so many deceased people. Man, I, I don't want to say this on camera. Lord, I don't want to say this on camera because I don't want to disrespect nobody. But beat King. And God forgive me if, my, if I'm wrong. That man, let me not say that. I can't say that. I don't want to disrespect nobody. You know what I'm saying? But they say that his cause of death was one thing. And he keeps telling me it was something different. I'm hearing something could have been put in his food or some type of something ain't right about that death. It's just something not right. And I'm hearing the state of Texas and that's the state that I live in has a curse over it. I'm hearing the state of Texas, the state of, of Tennessee, the state of um, Georgia. Several of these states have curses over them. Uh, New York. It's a lot. It's like I'm hearing something about these rappers that were that were murdered, that were unalived for insurance money because of their record labels. So I, I just. Oh, my God, I hate when this happened. Y'all don't. I got to be careful with what I say, bro. I'm sorry, y'all. I literally got chills up my spine. Tony is telling me that he could have been uh, touched on or molested while they were on tour. He's saying several stuff happened to them. Like a lot of weird shit happened to them when they were kids, a part of that group. He said somebody in the industry who put a curse over y'all. Somebody. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. And y'all know when I say I don't know, that mean I do know. I just this is like freaking me out. And it's like when when I start speaking to one soul, a bunch of them starting to start coming in. Now I'm picking up on Lamont Bentley from Moesha. Lamont Bentley, by the way, he actually protects me. Very cool dudes. Very sweet guy. It's like when I started picking up on Lamont Bentley, then uh uh Merlin Santana, oh the dude that played Ohaji, he started coming in. All of these people fucking protect me, bro. Y'all have no idea who protect me on the other side. And Beat King, he's having a hard time transitioning. Now I don't want to disrespect nobody his family i don't want to disrespect anybody in the industry or anybody but you know maybe his cause of death may be his actual cause of death but he keeps coming to me and he keeps showing me he's saying foul play maybe it was something he ate somebody gave him something 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 he said because he, he's telling me he's saying i was on a health journey i was getting my weight i was losing weight i was on a health journey he, something ain't something was put into his food something don't seem right i'm hearing something about a baby mama or something i don't know I don't know, bro, but I gotta go because I'm y'all got. I'm getting chills up my spine. Shit. Uh. <sighs> Quality time with you, girl. I'll be right there. I'll be right there for you. Hey, 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 hey. I'll spend quality time y'all when i get nervous i start singing <sighs> okay that's enough i'm gonna go ahead and get quiet because if you would like for me to do more psychic medium reads comment below okay if you would like for me to start doing personals comment below all right God is leading me to do personal readings. I'm about to start back, but I'm only going to be doing personal readings through email or text. And I'm not going to charge that much. OK, I ain't going to tell you the price yet, but I'm not.
Yeah, man, I'm starting to pick up on Beat King energy real heavily, man. I'm sorry, man. Some I know what the news is saying. I'm even hearing something. I'm hearing Fat Man's scoop death was was natural. It was from natural causes. I don't think anything happened to him. These are this is sad, bro. These record labels, man. Anyhow, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and close this out because uh now I'm starting to pick up on Selena. It's like when I start doing one person, they all come in. So um, I literally may make some type of, I'm not, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm going to make another channel for that. Because I might, see, I don't even want to say that on camera. Because motherfuckers will start stealing from that channel. But uh, let me go ahead and go. Because I, I don't, you know, I don't mind doing psychic medium reads. But it's like, I'm not appreciated here. You know what I'm saying? I'm not appreciated here for me to be giving these people energy out. But I'm sorry. I don't want to disrespect nobody, but B. King is saying he was murdered. Somebody put something in his food. Yeah, that may have been. That may, he's saying that that is the actual cause of death. But some I don't know. Somebody's his health. I don't know. I don't want to disrespect nobody. And I'm hearing something about mob ties. I'm hearing something about Jay Prince. I don't know. I got to go. Peace.